Welcome WCTV viewers. We're, We're Chris. Chris and we'll be right back with you. As we sit in front of our WCTV Christmas set, it's hard to forget that our holiday break begins just next week, but that also means semester tests are next week. Be sure to study. Not only is it Christmas, but it's also December. Yeah, Chris, we established that about three weeks ago. But you don't understand, we're going to remember this December. Oh yeah, how could I forget? Us students have kept busy remembering this December. You've heard the announcements almost daily of challenges that can yield to a nice reward if completed. Which reminds me, I still need to do my Christmas shopping. I just don't know what to get people this year. We both know you're just looking for the perfect gift for your lady friend. Chris, I think I got that covered. Well, just in case I get blessed with someone in that department and need a gift in a hurry, my looked into some easy gift ideas. You can smell the Christmas in the air. You can feel the warmth of holiday giving. But if you didn't go Black Friday shopping, then you're a little cramped on time for getting gifts. Here's some helpful tips on do-yourself Christmas presents. I think the easiest do-it-yourself Christmas present is knitting. Um, knitting's not too hard once you learn how to do it. And so um, I think it's a great gift to learn how to knit and then you can knit scarves for people. Um, scarves are really popular right now and it's also good timing of the year. It's cold in the winter. You can knit scarves for all your friends or your family. And then once you've learned how to do scarves and then once you're, maybe if you get bored with that, then you can learn how to do hats or socks. Some easy Christmas gifts to make are homemade Christmas ornaments. They show you put time and effort into it. You could also make homemade jewelry for your mom grandmother, or friends. Another good idea would be something sweet for your loved ones, like honey and other Christmas goodies. Well, I like homemade gifts because um, I know that somebody's put a lot of time and effort into it, so it's, it's more special, I think, because like I said, it, it requires a lot of time on their part, um, and time is the best thing that they can give you. So, Well, let's hope these tips help you in your gift making. This has been Maya Jaycox reporting for WCTV. Happy Holidays. Man, I wish I had somebody to use those ideas on. Maybe you should just hang out by the mistletoe all Christmas. Nice idea, bud, but enough about me. Let's talk about a name most people from Webster City can recognize. Dick Kennedy was a head Webster City wrestling coach for about 16 years. He died of cancer in 2006 and Webster City hosts a wrestling tournament in his honor annually. I think that's enough, Chris. Let's kick it off to Dylan to get all the info. This Saturday will be an extra emotional and meaningful tournament for the Lynx Varsity Wrestling Squad. You gotta have that confidence to believe in yourself. You gotta believe in yourself. Saturday will mark the seventh annual Dick Kennedy Memorial Dual Tournament. Coach Kennedy passed away in 2006 when he lost his fight with cancer. Coach Kennedy was diagnosed with kidney cancer in 2003. I'd say the most special thing about uh, this tournament for me would be uh, looking up in the stands and seeing people that don't necessarily come to every meet, uh, but they come to this tournament just to remember him and just knowing that he is uh, being remembered as uh, being something that was uh, great to Webster City Wrestling. I enjoy the home atmosphere that it brings and all the crowd that comes to support us. There's good teams there, so when I beat someone good, or like we beat a good team, makes me feel better about myself and think about how like, it gives me a better chance to make it to the state tournament and as a team for the state duels. And it's a win at home and it's like in memory of uh, Coach Kennedy. Um, it'll bring us a lot of momentum. There's pretty good teams there and it'll show us where we stack up in the uh, state. I'd say the best part of my dad being the coach uh, would be the motivational side of things. When you leave a hard practice and you're kind of down on yourself or cutting weight gets too hard, he was always there to have the right thing to say and, and pick you up. And he kind of had a knack for that. Uh, when anybody was down, he was always there to pick anybody up. Uh, one of the things that uh, Coach Kennedy taught me and uh, I 
kind of live by today is that uh, stuff in the wrestling room might be hard, but it's not as hard as the things you would be doing in your life the rest of your life. So uh, sometimes you need to put on your big boy boots or your cowboy boots and words to kill the candy and just get out there and uh, wrestle. The Lynx will be trying to bring home the Dick Kennedy Memorial title. The wrestling starts Saturday at 10 a.m. This has been Dylan Rose reporting for WCTV. Well, Chris, looks like I might have someone to use those Christmas ideas on. Wow. What, is that so unbelievable? No, not you. I was just looking at the scores from the Lynx winner team so far. Oh yeah, I noticed that the Lynx are dominating. Like always. The Lynx girls basketball team is currently 0-3. The boys are 1-2. Both look to have a win tonight. The wrestling team has Dick Kennedy duel Saturday. Keep it up, Lynx athletes. Well, Chris, forget about those gifts I said I would need. Uh, you'll get through this, Chris. Thanks for the confidence boost. That's what I'm here for. You always know the right things to say. Speaking of speaking, did you know researchers have found the world's hardest tongue twister? I'm down for a challenge. Say this five times fast. Pad kid, poured curd, pulled cold. Pad kid, poured curd, pulled cold. Pad kid, pulled cold. Nice try. The phrase is apparently so difficult that anyone who can say it ten times fast without messing up will be awarded a cash prize. I don't think I'll be collecting on that offer. Me either. Well, it looks like it's about time to wrap up the show. Next week will be our annual WCTV live show on Thursday at 6.30. The show will last about a half hour. All of us are working hard to make it a great show. Be sure to tune in. Until then, this has been Chris. And Chris. For, for WCTV. WCTV.